So this story I'm going to relate to you concerns the group of stars in the sky that the Roman Greek mythology called Cepheus. Cepheus the king. And Cepheus the king is represented by five stars. And those five stars, they sort of look like a, uh, a house, outline of a house. There's a triangle on top and a rectangle on the bottom. So it forms a, like, a, like a, a silhouette of a house in the sky. So these five stars, the uh, Cree people call Mackinac the turtle. And uh, prior to the coming of the Europeans, Mackinac the turtle was uh, per basically our living calendar. Because when we saw that turtle, we were reminded of one complete cycle. We were told that if you look at a turtle shell, and this is evident of the uh, snapping turtle and the uh, painted turtle, the, the turtles I'm familiar with. I haven't been looking at the tortoises or any other kind of sea turtles or whatever, but these are the ones that I'm familiar with. So if you look at the shell of a snapping turtle or a painted turtle, on the inside of the turtle shell, there are 13 main sections. And we're told these 13 main sections are the 13 full moons of one complete cycle. And these full moons are separated by 28 days. So again, if you look at that turtle shell, on the outer edge of that turtle shell, there are 28 sections to separate the one, the one full moon from the next. So when you looked at that calendar, you were immediately reminded of, of uh, this, this turtle. And vice versa, the turtle reminded you of that calendar and about that, of that cycle. Each one of these full moons coincided with something happened in the environment, depending on wherever you were. For the Cree people, that very first moon in the wintertime, when it was high winter, was called Kichipisim. Kichipisim. And again, that, of course, that was around January time, times, various times in January. And then the following moon after that was Mikisupisim. Mikisupisim is the eagle moon. And that's when the eagles returned from down south. And the following moon after that was Niskapisim. And Niskapisim was the, was the goose moon. That's when the geese came back. So you got January, February, March, and then April, that was Arigis Pisim. Arigis Pisim is the frog moon. That's when the frogs started coming out of uh, sleep, their sleeping and started making all kinds of racket. So this, this again, these moons coincided with something happened in, in the environment in the local area. At various places and various environments, of course, those names would change depending on what was happening, where, where, where the people were. But this is one of the reasons why uh, this place, they refer to it as Turtle Island, because uh, a lot of the cultures on, on, on North America, Central America and South America looked at that turtle and they, they went by that full moon calendar, that lunar cycle. It was very sacred. And grandmothers were, were very sacred beings for our people. And that's why we call Grandmother Moon, Nuokum, because uh, very sacred, very honored. So that's Maganak the turtle. Next year. That's what that.